Hello, I'm Balint Horvath from Cinema Kid. Uh, I'm here with directors from our short film section who will tell you about their films a bit. Uh, I think, uh, Adam, would you like to start? Could, could you tell us a bit about uh, The Glory of Terrible Ellies? What is it about and what was your inspiration behind it? Yes. Uh, first, I need to tell you that I'm just half of our director's team. Another half is Eliška Kovaříková. We working in Perth and we completely uh, uh, are connected in this project. So uh, we are connected in screenplay as well as directing. So she just cannot be here today. She's at work. Yes, and what was inspiration? Well, it was 12 years ago when I was going to FAMU for the, first, for the second time and I didn't get in, but I had to write three short stories and one of the stories were uh, the glory of the terrible Ellis. Yeah. And it was just the short uh, story, nine pages, uh, nine minutes. And after 12, 12 years, uh, I'm still studying at the school, unfortunately, uh, because of um, my mistakes on my part. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, we, uh, uh, I just found this script and I sent it to the uh, to the school competition, screenwriter competition, and it just gets some money to for us to make the movie. So we, with Eliška, take it seriously. And Eliška was the main dramaturgical power of the story. She always were telling me that the, the story is not uh, finished enough. So we were just uh, brainstorming, brainstorming, brainstorming for uh, some months, and from the nine page script uh, become this 28 minute story. And the inspiration, uh, I think uh, at the first, uh, before 12 years, it was, I was just writing something. Uh, I didn't think much. Uh, the inspiration was something like, for, for example, there were many inspiration, but it was like, I was watching Superbad. So at Superbad there ah. are three guys. So I just, I just have it in my mind. And then I just put some blood and cool things inside. <laughs> but uh, the story you will see uh, is a work of Eliška and me. Uh, so so uh, there are many other inspiration uh, insights, not just a super bad and some blood. <laughs> <laughs> can you, can you uh, uh, tell us in a few sentences what, what is the story about? <laughs> Yes, is okay. It's three three uh, young young guys are telling three stories about one girl, Alice, and it's about their their admiration for the girl as well as the fear because the guys are twelve years old and it's like the first time they are thinking about uh, girls as a woman. I see. Is it? Thank you. Uh, yeah, Jakub, uh, could you introduce uh, your film Invis in Invisible for us? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, our film Invisible uh, was part of co-production between Czech Television and e EBU. And there was like project to make films on the same topic in different uh, countries around the European Union and uh, uh, they come together in in a pack of uh, uh, of children film uh, short children films and the theme was like bullying uh, in in the school and for me it was very important to depict this story in comedic genre uh, because I saw a lot of films uh, about bullying uh, as a dramas or social dramas and we found interesting to make it co uh, into comedy and we put uh, some magical elements into it so it's kind of fairy tale but based in realism. And our, our, our hero, uh, our uh, young boy, uh, reached um, the invisibleness in the film. 
it's, it's, it's a unique approach for the for the team or the topic. Yep. Thank I you. Thank you. Uh, Hugo, uh, the question is the same. Could you introduce uh, your film a bit? Okay. Uh, so my movie, my film Rewind, I made it when I was living in Montreal and um, it was a festival who made a, a, a contest and we, we needed to give an, uh, an idea, a we needed to make a fantastic film. So we sent, I sent the script to, to the festival and I got selected so we got the fun to do it. And uh, this movie, it's... Uh, I put a lot of personal of, of my life, personal life inside. And I wanted to do a movie about the relation between uh, young kids and their grandparents. That's how it started. I, I wanted to talk about Alzheimer's disease at, at the beginning. And I don't want to say a lot about the movie, but that's how it started. I wanted to talk about it and the really important relation we have with our grandparents. Ah, I see. Uh, could you tell us uh, 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 an interesting factor or, or a little story about uh, the making of the movie? Um, yeah, it was, um, it was really funny because, I mean, it was really interesting because the, the, grandchild, the, the children and the grandpa, the guy, the Pierre, who is playing the grandpa, uh, they never, they just met two days before the shooting and it was amazing because it seems like they were really, uh, I mean, of the same family. They were so, so huge. I mean, they were amazing. That there's chemistry They're, between them, I, them. like, like yeah. relations. Yeah, they were, they were playing like a family. It was amazing. And uh, we shoot it in two days. And for two days, it was like a grandpa and his, uh, and his uh, uh, little, so, little, uh, little children. Uh, being together for two days. Oh, that's pretty cool. Thank you. Uh, Adam, uh, could you tell us uh, a little bit behind the scenes secret about uh, <coughs> the glory of Terrible Alice, about the making or the shooting of the film? Yes, so we were shooting through uh, for like summer, spring, winter and autumn. So it was a big shooting. Uh, we have, 20, I think, 26 days, which is a lot. Uh, I shouldn't tell it because it's like if we are <laughs> making the future. And, but the main factor is uh, that uh, before we start shooting, many people uh, told us, were telling us that we cannot make, make it with so much children and it will be hard. And I was like, no, 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 it will be OK. I, I hope so. And they were like, no, 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 it will be really hard. But the children are great and uh, are great actors. We found really great actors. And I found out, uh, yes, through the production of the movie, I found out that I don't trust adults as much. Uh, really? Yes, because even on the high position at some organization, they were like kind of mean, uh, like uh, to the screenplay. Uh, and, mm. uh, and the critic wasn't constructive. And but suddenly when the movie came out, they become the fans, which is OK. But I don't like uh, when the adults talk with the young filmmakers like they are not really like, I don't know, big enough. And for example, now I'm teaching some kids at the school uh, movie making and first answer, uh, first advice I tell them is uh, adults are fine, but don't trust uh, all of them. <laughs> I guess that's, that's, that's a good, good advice then. <laughs> I think so. Thank you. Uh, Jakub, uh, could you uh, uh, tell us uh, something about the making of uh, Invisible? Yeah, I have two, two things to say. One was th that it's very difficult to, um, to make movie about uh, protagonist who is invisible so it was the the big challenge for us uh, how, how to make it and uh, uh, we realized that uh, we, we realized that we have to shoot it twice once from the pov of the main character and one uh, and once from the pov of the others and we have to make some uh, post-production 
uh, VFX uh, to to make uh, to make him visible even he is not visible. So the objects are uh, some some flo flowing in the in the film. Uh, but it was fun and it was a challenge for me because before that I was shooting always some only realistic films. And the second one was that the main character uh, got hurt, got injured uh, during the shooting. So he was not able to move uh, during two, uh, two last uh, shooting days. So we have to improvise on the set to make <laughs> to make him moving uh, uh, but not not, uh, not um, he he was not moving himself but he he has to sit somewhere and or or be a, on the merry-go-round and it was and he was moving so <laughs> I, I, hope, I hope he got better soon <laughs> He's okay. It's two two years ago, but uh, during the shooting was not uh, it, it was not as fun as it sounds fun. No, no. I see. Well, uh, uh, thank you very much. Uh, three great movies that uh, our viewers will be able to see at Cinemira Kids on October twenty three and twenty four. Uh, and thank you for coming. Uh, and and uh, uh, hopefully we'll see each other soon uh, either at the festival or. Or, or hey, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Bye. Uh, is it uh, is it possible to watch your movies? Because I really.